Yes, actually, it was our first time to do a kind of live scale windows. We really enjoyed doing this uh, group work because, you know, when you do group work, different people have different thinking. We can work on help each other when we have some problem. We can discuss together, have different ideas, can combine different ideas together, and we can solve problems together. I enjoy the whole process, uh, the excitement that we feel, the passion that we feel in the beginning when we, uh, when we were brainstorming together, when everyone was sharing their ideas, because the excitement that we feel probably coming from that we know for sure that we're going to come up with something amazing in the end, and the satisfaction you feel when you actually complete the window in the end. So I would say I really like the whole process and also the freedom to choose the brand that we want is quite a big thing because if you work with something which you feel is always way easier than working with something that you don't really feel like doing. We had quite a few reasons for why we chose Lee but one of the main ones was to do with the history. Not many people really knew about how much Lee did with Dunham, how much they created. It was always sort of Levi that was well known, but Lee had actually done a lot more, so we wanted to sort of bring it out, uh, take it out of its shell and just sort of explore. Yeah, and the brand was kind of going through a like, reinvention at the moment, where they're changing their target customer, they're changing all of their designs and things like that, so we wanted to kind of represent that in their windows. In the UK, they don't have a lot of big no. following. So no. Lee is probably known by our parents more than us. Um, they have a big American following because they are an American brand. So we wanted to kind of bring it to the UK more. They've only got one store here and they don't have a, um, a window for VM in their UK store. So we wanted to actually design one that they could possibly put into a UK store if the brand grows here. I looked a lot at the brand identity and their sort of they have a very industrial aesthetic which is seen throughout their um, shop layouts and things, especially some of their flagship stores in mainland Europe. So we took that um, influence quite heavily. Yeah, we made it sort of quite abstract as well, just to sort of so it wasn't as obvious mm. and it made sort of a pattern with the window and the elastics and everything. So Yeah, we were sort of focusing, cause we focused on one of their jean ranges, which was to do with flexibility and like because they take a contemporary look on denim and like it's mobility and things. Uh, we've been using different kind of material from polystyrene, like carbons, and this and like paper and this kind of thing. So then we put everything together mostly with glue, and we paint on top. And we wanted to give the idea of sustainability because it's a brand who one of the core values is sustainable, sustainability. So we uh, try to use all materials that could be used for that. Obviously, polystyrene is not a uh, recycled materials, but because it was a cheap um, product, we had to use the, the things that were e easier for us. But we tried for the rest to cover it with paper or um, not using plastic, no. denim, recycled denim. There's um, creative differences sometimes, but when you finally decide on one thing, I think it works out really well. Time management, I guess, uh, because we had, I think, one month to do this, or one and a half month. So you had to like create everything in that much time and not leave it till the end. 